Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up CouchDB on a Windows machine. Alright, so CouchDB is a NoSQL database and it is document orientated. Alright, so it uses JSON documents. So if you understand, if you know and understand the JSON syntax, then you should have no problem using something like Couch. Alright, and if you've used something like MongoDB, it's pretty similar to that. Okay, so what you want to do is go to couchdb.apache.org slash download and you have a couple different options here for Mac, Linux. We're going to choose the Windows option. Alright, so that's going to give us a Windows installer that we can download. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, so let's go ahead and open that. Okay, just a simple Windows installer. Just accept everything. Click Next. You know the drill. So it's telling me that the folder already exists. All right, and you guys shouldn't have this problem. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this real quick. All right, so that should be all set. That was just from a previous installation on this machine. All right, so we have the option to install CouchDB as a Windows service. All right, so you'll most likely want to do this so that you don't have to go and manually run and stop it. Uh, it'll just run in the background. All right, so we're going to keep those checked. Click install. All right, so that should be it. We're not going to view the README. Let's just click Finish. All right, so now if we go to our Windows search here and search for CouchDB, you should have this start CouchDB file. If we click that, it's going to go ahead and start the service if it wasn't already running. All right, now we can verify that CouchDB is installed and running if we go to localhost and you want to go to port um, 5984 and then we want to say slash underscore utils alright and that's going to open this interface alright so this is futon so from here we can manage our database and we can manage individual CouchDB documents so for instance we can create a new database and let's call it customers create all right, so now we have a brand new database. If we want to add a document, we can click New Document, and it's going to assign us an ID, which will have the field underscore ID. All right, so if we click this little check mark, we can save that. And if we want to add another field, let's say we want first name, and we can add that here. last name all right and let's create one more and we'll just do our email all right so that's how we can add fields and now if we click save document now you can see we have a customer document now if you're not familiar with NoSQL databases um, this is much like a column in a relational database. If we want to see the actual document itself, we can click Source, and you can see it's formatted as JSON. All right, so we'll go back to Customers, and you can see we now have one document. Now, you may want to make this, uh, this futon interface more secure because right now anyone can go to it so if you look down here in the corner we have uh, it says welcome to admin party everyone is admin fix this if we click the fix this it's going to ask us to create a username and password all right so we'll click create and now down here you can see it says welcome and then your username and you can choose to change your password, log out, or set up more admins. All right, so let's go ahead and log out. Now we can still access it because we're on the local machine. All right, so if we were to go to this but on another machine, it would prompt us for our username and password. All right. In addition to what we've already seen, over here on the side we have Tools, and Overview it is going to just show us the different databases. We can go to our configuration, we can see the different um, 
configuration values and we can easily edit them if we need to replicator now I'm not going to go into this but basically if you want to replicate a database from either this machine or another one you can do so with the replicator status is going to tell us if we have any tasks running or not uh, documentation we have the manual Diagnostics, diagnostics, if you want to verify your installation, we can go ahead and do that. It says our installation looks fine. And just recent databases that we've created. All right, so I'm not going to go too far into it. I just wanted to show you guys how to set it up and how to access Futon. Uh, I will be doing another video showing you how we can connect to it through a web application. And I'll try to get to that soon. Alright, so if you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, whatever you can do is fine.